Hi, it's uh, Monday, the 8th or something. Yeah, I did not get my hair cut this weekend. It was too hectic. Every time we tried to leave, the car had problems, and the only place I want to get my hair cut takes a car to get to. So that's, that's that. So we didn't get the hair cut this weekend. Um, Apparently, my nighttime breathing issue was had gotten to a point where, um, where my boyfriend took the day off work so we could go take public transit over to the immediate care clinic. I got an inhaler, also one of those long-term bron bronchodilator things, <clears throat> the whatever flow vent. Yeah, anyways, so yeah. Um, I'm going to try not to face fuss with my hair too terribly much in these next couple weeks of videos until he gets paid again. Um, got a call, yes, or Friday, uh, about the SSA guy, and I tried to call him back today, but apparently it's a holiday. Since when? Did Columbus Day warrant government buildings closing down? The kids don't get it off school. I don't remember ever getting it off. But the but the banks are closed. The SSA is closed. The IRS is closed. I don't. I, the, there's too many holidays. I don't get all these things. You know, it's like. Oh, well, we can't afford to pay our teachers, blah, blah, blah. They work too much. Okay, well, how about this? You give the teachers as many holidays as you give the government workers, and you won't have to pay them nearly as much. But the kids will be stupid because they won't have as much of an education. I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if there's, like, this mandatory, you must have a federal holiday that at least the government workers don't have to work once a month. And there wasn't one in October. Because you got Labor Day and Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's is technically a good day for that. But then they've thrown in, and then there's President's Day and February and I don't know if there's something in March. And you get the day off after Easter, you know, if you're really into, you know, all that jazz. And then there's the 4th of July and you might as well just get, might as well get Flag Day anyways in June. In August, well, August is a hard month because there's no holidays in there, so we're just going to have to grit our teeth and bear it because it's really, really hard. It's like, oh my god, there are too many holidays. I've just given up on them. I'm like, I don't care if there's what? The, the holidays. <laughs> you know? I've. I've not worried about Christmas or anything since for thing and for years and people are like, Oh, you're you're not an atheist Well that's not a diagnostic criteria, but you're right. I, mean, I don't even like the non religious holidays. I think celebrating the birth of our nation is a terrible waste of gunpowder. Also, I don't like celebrating birthdays. There's nothing really to celebrate. Unless you think of your life as depressing. Oh, I survived another year. Let me have a party. Really? Oh, best wishes for the next year. You don't know what's going to come up. Best wishes. Yeah, it's really late because the mass transit took us a while. Plus, I actually fell asleep in the doctor's office because it took her a while to get to us. Then I had to come home watch the news. I had pretty, I had, well, I ate some PB and J's earlier. I should probably actually go eat something semi-substantial, pasta and cheese with bits of dried broccoli. That works. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut this one off. I can't really tell what time it's at because. The time is white, and you now there's a big white spot over there from that light because I'm trying to milk what light I can because the sun has been set for a good half an hour. So, yeah. 
Anyways, hope I'll uh, have a normal video with normal lighting tomorrow because the boyfriend will be at work and stuff. Great finder tomorrow, so I might have some complaints or pros about that.